Hey YouTube comic community, this is Jimmy the Geek Aficionado and I have been hitting the auction circuit again. Stay tuned to find out what I got. So I'm hitting the auctions on Instagram, I'm hitting the auctions on YouTube, I'm selling in the auctions and what, what can I not do? I can't not buy for some reason. You know, I'm trying to save up money to get something else and I'm still spending money. But I'm trying to make sure that when I do spend money, it is a good deal or it's for the right stuff. And uh, with that in mind, I'm just trying to, you know, take care of, uh, take care of the old collection. Uh, so I got a few things that, uh, that were, you know, I mean, cool but also things that I can work with, some things that I'm going to try and flip, uh, and one off the old 2021 hunt list, so we're really looking forward to that. Uh, I'm going to say that one for last. The first one is from Torpedo Comics. So I did, uh, I did jump onto their Instagram uh, claim sale one day. Uh, I tried to hit the ones where they, they, they were showcasing the the bronze and silver age kind of stuff, right? Because uh, I don't go in for the, the mystery boxes. I'm not, not a big fan of those. It doesn't seem to always work out too well. Uh, especially, if, you know, it seems to be for the buyer anyway. Seller works out great, right? There we go. So they had a few things, and I'm like, okay, you know, well, let's see about... Uh, you know, making an offer and what we can get. And I'm happy to say I was able to knock a few things off of my uh, off of my run list for a particular title. And I will be happy to show you what those are. All right. One thing I want to bring out, I am rocking the Three Men in the Basement comic, or Connecticut Comic Crawl 3 shirt. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, I do appreciate that. A good t-shirt. All right. Here we go. I have, uh, I'm, I'm winding down on a lot of my Bronze Age, right? I'm almost done on a lot of my Bronze Age uh, issues for a series. Is, and this one is no different. Uh, these are three issues of the Invaders. This is uh, issue number 36, right here. Got that for a good price. It's a, it's a VF condition book. Mock that one off, you know, scratch it off there. This one's issue number 34. I think after this I'm down to only like five issues left, so that's pretty cool. And issue number 27 uh, with uh, with Bucky and Toro and Subby on the cover. Yeah, Bucky and Toro are in danger. Look at that right there, there. Yeah, they're gonna get squished by the, the pin cushion making machine. And some dude here looks like Dr. Fear, or you know, Mr. Fear on the bottom. But uh, sure enough, the invaders are gonna come in to save the day. So that's invaders number 27. And uh, three le three more off the list. So we're, we're looking good on that one. Happy to have those. Add it in, uh, and then uh, as I said, I was uh, I was on an auction on I want to say it was Who Dat's channel, and I got uh, I got some things for myself, kind of. I won an auction lot. Um, Mr. Sanders from the Hunt was was on there, and he had a few things, and uh, I couldn't let it go. I, I, I actually pushed on this one. Uh, probably a little bit harder than I should have, uh, but I thought it was worth it in the long run, mostly because I didn't have it. Now that is how you attach a package. So kudos to you, Tony, but man, could you remember the pull tabs next time? Make these videos go a lot faster. Good thing I didn't try unboxing this on the hot like I did last time. Now that that's been removed, let's see if we can get into the second portion of the package. Okay. I'll save that one for last because that's the book I really want. 
All right, I got a few things on this. Um, or I should say he included a few things. Uh, now, primarily, this is the book. Uh, this is one of the two books that was in the lot. This is a uh, first appearance of, uh, oh my gosh, Penny Parker, uh, who controls the Android speeder, spider, whatever the hell it's called. I mean, if you can figure that out, I mean, there's no, there's no pronunciation of backslashes that I know of, but yeah, I'm just going to go with spider. Uh, the spider robot. This is Edge of Spider-Verse number five. It's a pretty clean copy. Uh, I may resell this because I, I have a copy and I'm just not, you know. Hmm. The story was good, but I bought it for the two. And so that's cool. Thank you, sir. That was a throw in. Um, this is also another throw-in. Well, I'm sorry, no, that was not a throw-in. That was actually part of the lot. This is a throw-in. This is uh, Ultimate uh, Cataclysm, the Ultimate's Last Stand, where, where Galactus goes and, and moves into the Ultimate Universe and starts devouring planets there. Apparently he started with Earth, which I just thought was just a bad idea. You'd think he would have learned. Uh, but this is issue number two. Nice little, uh, he's crushing Miles Morales up in the corner there. This is a cool one. Uh, because yeah, I think this yeah this got added in, and I'm like okay yay I'll uh, be putting this one up for sale. This is Champions number one, um, with uh, oh you got uh, Sam Alexander Nova, you got Kamala Khan, you got uh, you got totally awesome Hulk here, you got uh, Vision's daughter I think something like that. Miles Morales up on the top, and then you know the young Scott Summers from. Uh, a, a parallel universe that uh, apparently went back at some point. I haven't finished reading that. So, Champions number one. So that's a cool key. But this is the real reason I got it in the first place. Uh, this is the one that I wanted. And uh, it's kind of like a test uh, as much as it is just, you know, I wanted to have the book uh, as well. But it is uh, Ultimate Fallout number four. This is the uh, second print variant. This is the Sarah Pacelli variant. Now, if you'll notice, some bastard put a store stamp up there. So I'm going to try my cleaning and pressing skills and see if I can clean that off uh, at all because you know it's right in the white. So I might be able to kind of I might be able to get that out with the right stuff. So that's what we're going to try, and we'll see how successful I am and see if we can get this guy back in a looks like a nine six with that uh, spine tick. And who knows? Be able to work out. We'll find out. So that's that. So happy to get uh, happy to get those. I like the uh, dig the old the extras, Tony. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, even though it took quite some time to get through that package. All right, lots of backing boards. We'll save those for something else. And we're on to our last package now. This is the cool one. This is the one that everybody wants right now. Uh, I found it for a good price. Uh, I negotiated for a lower price, and we'll see how, uh, how what kind of condition it's in, and whether or not I can uh, upgrade it at all. We'll, we'll see. But with the way the prices have been going on this book, I'm just like I'm not interested in spending that kind of money on this book that used to be like a dollar bin book. Uh, but it fits a particular. Um, it fits a particular run of books I'm trying to collect, uh, and that's uh, books from cartoon series is from when I was a child. That doesn't clue you into which book this is. I'm not sure if there's anything else it's going to. But now we can get it out. There we go. Four more cuts. There we go. All right. Uh, now, I did buy uh, a few other things uh, from him as well, just to kind of, uh, you know, round it out. So, I got this one here. This is Flash 161. It's a, a hole that I had in the uh, in the run. So, it's a very nice looking copy of that. Um, looks like it's got a... Uh, looks like it's got a... Sub, a subfold got a crease in the cover, but uh, it's not significantly color breaking. So, you know, it's, it's mid grade. It's a six, six and change somewhere in there. Um, yeah, that's nice. So we got that guy. 
Uh, also got this one. This is a Detective Comics number 376. With some schmetting on the cover there, or on the uh, bag. A very cool Batman and Robin cover with Batman uh, checking out Batman coming to get him. So that should be interesting. Again, another hole in the collection, right? Um, filling that up, you know, with the 12 centers and the 15 centers. So happy to get that. But this is the real reason why I even engaged uh, was this. It was on a claim sale. And, um, yeah, this looks, this looks pretty nice. Especially for the price that I got it, because these prices on this book are just ridiculous. Thundercats, number one. Meow. Because I watched Thundercats when I was a kid. I got my Voltron. I got my Transformers. Uh, I got my G.I. Joe. And I needed my Thundercats. So, very cool pickup for me. I'm loving it. And uh, we're going to press this guy out. Clean it up. Get it sent off. Uh, he marked it as a 7.0, particularly because there he felt there was a spine roll. Um, so we're going to take a quick look at Gander. Mm, some pressables. Back cover, back cover is white with the Care Bears. So that's not too bad. Wow, yeah. Yeah, I'm so glad I got this. Very undergraded. Uh, yeah, there are definitely some pressables. Uh, there is some um, minor spine ticks. And uh, so we'll see. I mean, you can see obviously the pressable stuff there, but uh, you, if I get close enough to the camera, you, you can see some of the, the spine ticks that are there. I think that this book is likely to get um, a 9 4 once it's pressed out, uh, possibly, possibly as low as a 9 2. Uh, there are a number of color breaks to the to the spine, but uh, this is what I had hoped for, right? Is that just uh, kind of a miss misgrade on this? But it is a beautiful book, and I got it significantly below the market value, so I'm happy. It was a nine four nine four is near mint, right? Um, works for me, absolutely fantabulous. So I finally got that guy knocked off without having to pay the sick, sick prices that it's going for right now. So Thundercats number one. That's all we got time for. Thank you for clicking play on the video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Ring that notification bell and you find out when I got more content coming out. Thank you very much. Have a good night.